YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back. It's me. It's your boy. So today we are going to be unboxing something a little bit different here. Something unique that I thought would be really cool for the channel here. So gamers, content creators, everyone else in general. Sometimes we know when we spend a lot of time, say, at the computer or in our room or in our house in general for various reasons. Sometimes, you know, things may get a little smelly here. So I stumbled upon a company called Wick and Skull here, and they specialize in making gamer themed or like video game themed candles. So I thought it'd be really cool because I know myself sometimes my bedroom slash studio needs to be freshened up a little bit and it never hurts to have a nice smelling candle around. So I ordered about seven of these bad boys, seven or eight, and we'll go ahead and unbox them and see what happens. Here we go. All right, firstly, I do love this absolute custom box right here. Nice Wiccan skull scent on it. Let's flip it around, the fragile. I love the care to detail. Oh, there's a QR code down there. Break right over here on the side. And it looks like there is a key up top, but you guys did not give me a key for the lock. So we're just gonna take this bad boy. Wiccan skull. Ooh, we got some black, black confetti. I believe that's what we're looking at. Kind of tilt this on the side and pull this out. Ooh, all right. Let's go ahead and we will start with this one right here. Oh my goodness, Lavender Town. I am so excited for this. So if you don't know, this is Pokemon themed and I am super excited about that. Wiccan Skull, warning to prevent fire here. Burn candle within sight, keep out of reach of pets and children. Never burn a candle near anything that can catch fire. Remove all packaging before burning is placed on temperature safe surface. Keep away from drafts, keep wax pole free of debris to avoid overheating and soothing. Keep wax centered and trimmed to one fourth at all time do not burn more than four hours at a time discontinue use when one fourth of wax remains seller manufacturer not responsible for misuse los angeles california hand poured in your mom's basement made in the usa by canadians let's pop this bad boy off so it says 35 hours estimated burn time smells like unsettling tones of lavender wood and spirits we got a dead cubone there. Ooh, I like that. I like that bit of a neon green, kind of slime green going on there. With just a hint of purple. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's take a whiff of this. Definitely strong lavender and wood, obviously, as description reads. Also, I smell a hint of vanilla in there, which isn't bad. I actually do like this. And of course, there will be an individual view on all of these after, you know, I burn them for consecutively probably more than four hours or so to really see how they light up a room and see how the smell last and whatnot that is lavender town pretty hyped about that one also when the candle is done i will be saving these tins because this is pretty high quality to be honest with you and they're just super aesthetically pleasing so that is lavender town ladies and gentlemen d dusty smells like low poly cedar crates filled with musty herb spices and smoke looks like same warning on the back all that good stuff let's pop it open oh bit of a orangish red hue going on there with a little bit of black let's go ahead and take a whiff so the must is definitely there and i also smell a bit of leather too kind of from like duke cannon that might be the smoke and the must combining that's nice definitely unique i don't know if this one is my favorite so far but i've only smelled two that is d dusty so this one is a christmas themed one that i wanted to pick up before it went away this is slayer which is super funny and it looks like santa fighting with an evil snowman there over a christmas tree and a gingerbread guy's getting cooked this one smells like mistletoe and snowy skirmishes i don't know what that would smell like all right looks like some so oh that actually wow that's strong that's actually really strong looks like we got some white with some green in here i like the aesthetic but damn that is strong all right out of the first tree that i smelled this one smells actually really good smells like a forest i'm very biased to forest but it smells like a traditional candle one you'd get from like yankee candle or something but this is definitely definitely smells really 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 good and we have hell yes that's right this one is actually called hell which is actually it intrigued my interest because i was always curious of what hell actually smells like it smells like smoky succubus with a taste of soul sucking saffron so i don't know we're gonna see what hell is about that is very red very very red almost blood red blood red with a little bit of black hue there all right so take a whiff see what hell smells like definitely has a lot of smoke scent going on here definitely i don't know may smell like hell i'm not sure if hell smells like this we might have to take a trip down there you know maybe stop by hell and do a little weekend thing to see what's going on i would not recommend uh trying to seek hell out that's it for this one this one is not looking like my favorite at the moment spawn camper which is super funny actually if any of you ever played call of duty or halo back in the day spawn camping was huge this one smells like s'mores 
and short lifespans. I absolutely love these descriptions. They are super funny. Let's go ahead. I love the gold tint here for the jar. Ooh, I love the, the fire that, that they made in there. That actually resembles a campfire. That's super creative. Good, good attention to detail there. Let's take a look. Smells like s'mores. Definitely smells like s'mores with a bit of uh, smokiness. It does have some sugary set in there too, like cooked sugar. I actually do like this a lot. It smells like graham crackers. I mean, I mean, it smells like s'mores. This one is definitely the winner next to Slayer. This one will probably be a repurchase in the future, I'm gonna be honest. I love the artwork for these two. These definitely good attention to detail here, good aesthetically pleasing. And I love, I love the fire. And because, well, I had to, we got Boo set. Um, they also have a Bell set one, but I'm very partial to Boo and King Boo. Being stalked by sweet spirits in the cotton sheets. Okay, I did not know that description said that, but that's super funny. Um, white, same label here, Boo set. I'm anticipating this one to hopefully be purple. I would like it to be purple. Nope, it is white with a bit of a pink figure going on there in the background, but let's take a whiff. Oh, that smells like cherries. That smells incredible. All right, so top three so far are this Spawn Camper and Slayer. This was definitely a good pickup. I'm excited to light these on fire and get these a burning and a rolling. But that is Boo Set, my friends. And of course, we have one more Boots. I actually forget which one this is. Hey, let's go. This one is fake cake. So if any of you have played Portal, you will know that in one of the missions, you are told that if you complete the mission, there will be a chocolate cake waiting for you at the end of the mission. When you complete the mission, there is no cake. You get rewarded with no cake. It smells like a giant slice of sweet lies. Very much a lie, very sad, but I love the fact that the cake is going through both in and out of the portals here. It was very disappointing when you ran that mission and there was no cake that is very pink kind of looks like a balloon wow that is strong boy hang on a second very vanilla strawberry ish i guess is the best way to put that but that it kind of sense a little bit of honey in there too honey maybe a little bit of lavender maybe a little bit of sugar that's nice though i do like that all right so now we have a top four slayer so we have cake bond camper slayer and Bousset are my four favorites out of the seven that we've got now for Hell, De Dusty, and Lavender Town. I do not hate them. They are just not my favorites for my first initial impressions here. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Wiccan Skull Candle opening here. These are the seven candles that I have purchased. There will be seven individual videos for each of them getting a review. And if you like the reviews and these get good views and good kind of recognition and attention, we will definitely consider doing a ranking. But we do have one a final message. Let me push these guys back here just a second. This says, from Wiccan Skull, thank you so much for joining us on our quest to enhance the gaming experience. Together, we will create even deeper memories of the amazing times we spend in digital worlds we love. We hope you would enjoy it as much as we do. Wiccan Skull. And go ahead, if you guys want to follow them there, I believe that's for both Twitter and Instagram, and of course, WiccanSkull.com. And then it comes with an instruction manual. All that good stuff. Tell your friends to buy one. All good things are best to be shared. Oh, uh, yo, Wiccan Skull. Hit your boy up for an affiliate program or anything like that. Let's talk about that. Or a sponsorship or whatnot. You know, I'm just saying, just throwing it out there you know i'll definitely push your product you know help us each other out as always ladies and gentlemen please remember to like share comment subscribe hope you like this as much as i did i'm excited to go ahead and test these out i love you all and i'll see you very soon you take care